Hey guys! Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a self-portrait minifig like you're a little Lego minifig. So here I have a minifig. It's the only one I have that I had to borrow um, and it is Boba Fett from Star Wars. So taking off his helmet we can start to look at some of the shapes that we're going to see on this guy. So the first shape is his head. We're going to draw the head as a square just a regular square with four equal sides, um, only it's going to have curved corners. And to be honest, the top corners don't really matter that much because I know on mine I'm going to have hair covering that up, but just so you can kind of see the shape. So I've got a rounded square for the head. Then the body, I'm going to draw my little neck right here, just so I have a little something. My body is going to be a trapezoid, so the top will be about the same size as the head, so the same width. And then the two sides are going to come down angled at about the same angle and then a straight across the bottom. Looking at this, that's maybe just a little bit long, so I'm going to bring that line up a little bit more. I can just erase that off. And as usual, I always recommend drawing lightly so that it's easy to erase. I'm drawing a little bit heavier so you guys can see this at home. So head is a rounded square. Body is a trapezoid that's kind of longer. The legs are just going to be two rectangles coming down. And this one might be a little bit tricky to figure out where to make them go. So I would say maybe consider making a little mark where the halfway point should be. I want two rectangles that are about equal and then I can go in and erase that little halfway mark. The feet are basically just two little rectangles that kind of come forward so you see his toes. The arms will be two pentagons that are cut in half. Now I know that's not necessarily helpful information for you to have but here's how you draw that. You do a line that angles down and a line that angles down so they're about equal. Then you're going to make the sides of the arm coming down about the same length as the body. Uh, I'm going to make mine a little bit shorter. You want them to be about the same length. If you want to use a ruler so you can measure and make sure that your line lines up straight, you can. You know me, I'm not too worried about straight lines. And then his hand looks kind of like, so I add the wrist coming out, and then the hand is like a, um, kind of like a magnet shape, I guess. That's not perfect, but you get the idea, I hope. This one's a little bit too close to the body, so I'm gonna curve it around. So it's kind of like you've got a circle, and a hole and then a space in between. So if you're really feeling nervous about drawing that kind of funky shape, it's kind of like a letter C. <clears throat> you could draw a circle, another circle, and then draw where the opening is and erase out that little bit in the middle if you're nervous about drawing your hands. Um, so once I've got that basic shape, then I can go in and add the things that make me look like me. So it's a self-portrait. Um, so the other alternative way that you could do the arms, if you want to add a short sleeve shirt on here, because they don't all have long sleeves every time. Corners are curved, neck, trapezoid. Rectangle, rectangle feet. Okay, so if I wanted to make like a short sleeve shirt, I could kind of make like a curving line like that coming down. And then I could add my arms coming out from there. So now I get to think about the things that make me me. Because when you've got a Lego minifig, 
They have accessories. Sometimes they have tools that they hold in their hands or that they can interact with a little bit. Um, so this guy has a helmet, he has a cape, he's got this uh, jet pack on his back. There's all kinds of things that you can add to these to make them look like the person they're supposed to look like, right? I'm sure you've seen these before. So what you may want to think a little bit about is what do you look like? So do you wear glasses? Is your hair long or short? What color your hair is? You probably will need to spend some time looking in a mirror to figure out what kinds of things that you never notice about yourself but everybody else probably sees every day as far as what your face looks like and you know just different little things that make you look like you. Um, you also can think about things that you like. So you could, um, on your shirt, you could draw something that you like, like I could do like an art themed shirt if I wanted to. Um, I could, um, you know, do my hair the way that I usually style my hair. I can add little accessories if I need to. So here's what I'm gonna do for mine. Uh, I guess I'll do the long sleeved one a little bit more. So I'm going to add, when I'm teaching at school, I always wear an apron over my clothes. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make my body look just like an apron, and it always has a pocket on the front, kind of like a kangaroo pocket. And I always have a pencil in my pocket. So here's a pencil. I could also put my pencil in my hand if I wanted to. Um, I usually have some paint brushes in my pocket, so I'm going to add a paint brush. And then I also always have a pair of scissors, so I'm going to make just the top of the handles of scissors. So when I color it, I can make that orange and then you know it's scissors, right? So that's some accessories that I can add. I also, I just really like stripes, so I'm going to make me wearing a striped shirt. Uh, and then I usually just wear like some kind of plain pants, so I'll just color those in. Um, so for my face, here's what I can do. I can, um, all minifig eyes look more or less the same. I'm just going to do my eyes as two circles. You don't really get a lot of variety. Maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't seen a lot of different faces on many figs. Sometimes they're a little bit different. If you want to do your eyes so that you're kind of looking in a certain direction, when you color them in, you can do them black all the way around and then have a little white spot where you don't shade it in. So that's what I did right there. And then usually there's just sort of a simple smile of some kind. I'm gonna do that kind of mouth. So I look cute and happy. Uh, right now I'm missing a couple things. I'm gonna give myself glasses because I've been wearing my glasses a lot lately. You guys have seen that. So I'm gonna try to make these look like my glasses. And mini figs I don't think have ears. Let me double check. Yeah, no ears, okay. And then I need some hair. So I, I have these swoopy bangs that go off to the side. Kind of go like that. And I've practiced drawing my hair a lot. I've done other self-portraits before. So that's part of how I know what my hair looks like. You will need to look at what your hair looks like so you are familiar with how you could draw your hair. There's all kinds of tutorials online that you can find for how to draw different kinds of hair. I have kind of hair that, I don't know, you could also have straight bangs. There's all kinds of hair that you can do. So once I have all my details on there that make me look like me, um, if I'm going to trace over it in Sharpie, then I can trace it and then I'll color it. Next, I'm going to draw a setting for my art teacher minifig. So for mine, I drew an easel, a stool, some paint brushes and paints on a table. You can make your setting whatever you would like to that fits for your minifig. <laughs> 